on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, chances are you're going to see someone from one of Tuscaloosa's animal welfa uh, welfare organizations here on First at Four with a cat or dog that needs a good home. This week, all three of those organizations are coming together to have a big adoption event. Kristen Bolden's here from T-Town Falls to tell me more about it. Kristen, thank you for being with us today. No problem. It's a little unusual seeing you without a cat. I'm so used yeah. to you bringing me a cat every Lily week. Lily Bell again. Oh, wow. Did Lily Bell finally get a home? I haven't been by to check, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah. So Lily Bell could be roaming around T-Town Falls. <laughs> no. Actually, no, you guys are moving, aren't you? Uh, yes. What's going on? Um, we are moving, but I'm not exactly sure where yet. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they'll call you and tell <laughs> yeah, you I hope when so. they're ready for you to come back. I hope so. And yeah. that's why you guys don't have an animal with us this week. Right. Um, all of our animals are in foster care. We've got one dog in foster care and two cats in foster care that uh, do still need to be adopted. We will have information on them there at the event tomorrow. Now let's go ahead and talk about that, the event tomorrow. What's going on? It's sponsored by the North Shore Animal League, which is based in New York. It's the world's largest no-kill animal organization and shelter. Um, they do a lot of adoption events. Right now they're doing a 36-city tour throughout the U.S. Uh, they're doing one here tomorrow from 2 to 7 at the University Mall parking lot, one in Birmingham on Saturday, and then on Sunday they're going to Florence, actually. So there's three chances for you to go support in Alabama. All right, and then tomorrow, uh, give us an idea of what's going to happen. That's going to be at, at uh, the, the War Memorial at University mm -hmm. Mall, correct? Yes. Uh, as far as I know, it's, it's right there, um, right beside the, the thing. The, 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 the war plane and yeah, the, and, the, plane and the tank. And the tank. And, right. Really, whatever's there. Mm -hmm. um, it's all going to be set up right there. There'll be refreshments. Uh, you can pick up information on pet adoptions and uh, different just different facets of shelter life for them. Uh, there'll be information regarding general pet, pet care. Uh, and like we said, uh, all three organizations are gonna be there. The Humane Society of West Alabama, Metro Animal Shelter, and T-Town Falls will be there with uh, information on adoptable animals. And if, if uh, the folks at home were to go down there tomorrow and, and they see an animal there, I'm assuming there's animals there, correct? Yes, there will be animals if, there. If they see animals there and, and they fall in love with one and they want to take it home, can they <laughs> take it home there or is there something else that needs to happen and they need to go pick it up later? Um, there are different guidelines for each of the three organizations uh, for adoptions. We usually do same-day adoptions. I'm not sure if the actual foster animals will be there or not, but we will have their pictures and all. Um, and information on them and how to get in contact with their foster families. The Humane Society and Metro both have to do, uh, they have to fill out a whole application process and the Humane Society actually does home checks. All right. Well, Kristen, thank you very much for being with us okay. today. Tour for Life is your chance to give a safe, loving home to a deserving animal, and it's happening this week, Thursday, April 7th, at the War Memorial at University Mall. For more information, call 205-752-9101.